mother and son duo Shana and Jade Caden after a frustrating and long journey around the chronic pains of these crooks. Jed suffered himself as only the 10th child in Africa to be treated for this rare disease. Through their experiences, the Kagan family decided to bring much needed awareness to Crips. Crips stand for complex regional pain syndrome, and it's a disease that affects the nerves and it sends pain messages to the brain. And the, there won't be anything wrong with you, but those nerves send the messages to the brain that a lot of these children in the world who have this disease are told that it's in their head, which maybe it is, but not in the way that the doctors or somebody is telling them they've made it up, because it's not made up, but yes, it is in your head. So it's very complex to understand and to actually treat. Most of it goes undiagnosed. You get kids that are living with this pain and no one knows why, and they think it's made up, or they actually might tell them they're autistic. Well, what it was like is I was in pain 24-7 and it was excruciating all the time. But now that I'm better, I feel very good and it's definitely changed my life for the better. Going through the journey was horrific as a mom because we got to stages where we actually thought no one wanted to help us. No one wanted to look up on the internet to see what was wrong with them. We were just left totally alone. Um, I remember saying to other people that when you break your arm, you go and you get help and they quickly plaster you up and send you home. Here my child was lying in bed, couldn't move, totally bedridden, and no one could help us. So it was a very scary journey. Um, we got out on the other side. I remember the first doctor that diagnosed us, we were about five weeks into, or six weeks into the disease, and he said to me, don't, ever read what's out there. This disease in children has a good prognosis. And he said it to me three times and that was always in the back of my head. So there was no reason for me to have to give up. And that's why I know now that if moms are told that their kids will never walk again, that also sits in your head. So we had to change that outlook for many other people and we have throughout the world. So what they do is they give them to me and what it does is it actually resets the brain so it takes it down to zero and then it starts it again so those nerves now are going the right way so Jed was in hospital overnight with a ketamine infusion and the next day he had no pain zero from ten but then it was learning to walk again which took the longer time the toughest hurdle I had to overcome was to learn how to walk again after the pain went away because I completely forgot how to do it. It took about, say, four or five months, three months totally bedridden. Then we eventually got to hospital and then it must have taken at least six to eight months for him to learn how to walk again. And he was on 32 tablets a day for about almost a year. So you can't tell these kids it's in your head because they don't want that negativity. They want to know it's okay that it's in your head. That's where it is, but we're going to sort it out. At one stage, they used to call Jed into Red Cross so he could speak to the kid who was struggling because if they could see Jed was walking now, that was amazing and they knew that they could get there. So when I got better, me and my mom decided that we are going to do something about all the undiagnosed kids in the world. So we decided to make teddies out of socks to spread awareness about the disease. When we left Red Cross, we firstly had to pay them back for what they, they'd given us our child back. We didn't have a child. And then all of a sudden they gave us our child back normal. And we were very excited. So we thought we were going to make a teddy. And also because um, Jed and Teddy... So we named it Jedi Teddy. So for the first 365 teddies we gave to Red Cross and um, we, we walked around the corridors and handed them out. And then we decided that the Jedi Teddies had to educate other people. So with every teddy goes Jed's story. And it tells you about Crips and it tells you what it is. And if you want more information, you go to the website. And literally we've helped many, many families throughout South Africa and the world. 
Now, you know we do the clothing. Then with every piece of clothing that we sell, the Jelly Teddy story goes. Because it all started with Jelly Teddy. We started making the masks. And then we had the people who were saying to us, for us, they live in Bontehirville in shacks. And we thought, we can't just leave them in the lurch. We need something else. And then we started making the clothing. So we look after them and we create awareness still to this day. And you, you cannot believe the support we got. Unfortunately, every other kid out there doesn't get that. And everything that pushed us forward, pushed us in the right direction to get better. Whereas most kids don't have that in their community. So I must say we're very thankful for our community. And also ever since we've been making the teddies, I mean, they, they help make, we volunteer, we've done things with um, Maria Road Shore, we've done Mandela Day with them. So, I mean, it's been amazing what we've done with the community and what they've done for us. Jenny Teddy Derek Eric is every kid who's going through a journey is a hero to us. So every kid that we can give a teddy to, we're happy. Secondly, to start a clinic here, there's nothing in South Africa where these kids can be helped. They can get the medical side and the holistic side from one place. The thing that I've learned is that it's us moms that know best how to treat these diseases and that we might need help from other people, but we're the ones who know how to conquer this disease. Well, we've come to the end of the show for this week's episode of Derek Eretz. As always, we'd love to hear from you, so please send us a Facebook message at Spirit Sister Productions. From me, Lauren Joffe, and the Derek Eretz team, have a beautiful week.